Hi everyone, this is Tia, our customer service supervisor for Barista Pro Shop. And this is Tori, one of our customer service representatives. And today we're going to teach you how to make Italian sodas. We're going to be doing a take on the basic fruit Italian soda. So instead of using a regular syrup, we're going to be using a puree such as this one from Monin. It's a watermelon flavor. Um, it's going to be a little bit thicker and a little bit more fruitier, so you're going to have more of that fruit experience that you're looking for for the warmer months. So we're going to be taking our 16 ounce glass right here and filling it three quarters of the way of ice to make room for that liquid that we'll be putting in. So we're going to be doing an ounce and a half of the puree and we're just that. We're going to use a club soda today instead of a regular seltzer water. The club soda has a little extra fizz to it that will help break up that um, puree versus the syrup. And we want to stir this up a little bit here. Um, it's going to take a little bit more extra effort for stirring because it is a puree which makes it a little bit thicker. Um, and so we want to pull it from the bottom up through the top so that you're not getting that syrupy um, taste at the bottom and you have a nice flavor throughout the whole drink. basic flavors in Italian soda can also be fruit flavors um, and a lot of people do like that cream on the fruit flavors but some of the challenges that you run into with fruit flavors is that they tend to curdle especially with the more citrusy flavors like raspberry, strawberry, and orange. Um, so to combat these issues we're going to show you how to make a fruit um, Italian soda with cream without having it curdle. Now one of the things here that we have is called the Blue Raspberry from Tarani that does have a dairy friendly option. They also do an orange as well. Um, these are formulated so that you won't have that curdling. So we're just gonna take our medium or 16 ounce size cup and fill it almost all the way with ice. And then for a 16 ounce, we're gonna be using four pumps. And then we're just gonna top it off with some club soda. Now we're doing one less pump than we did before because we are topping it with cream. So that adds a little bit more sweetness to the drink, so you don't need as much syrup for this. Okay, and then all it takes is just a little splash of cream. And we're just gonna go ahead and let that sit on top as opposed to stirring it in um, just for the appearance of the colors and the layering of the cream on top of the club soda. All right and then you top it with that straw. Putting in that straw actually will bring that cream down to the bottom, and then the customer usually will do their nice little stir in there to kind of mix that up here. Again, you have a beautiful coloring of blue, and you can kind of see the difference between um, the syrup and the cream and how it mixes all together. 